Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey guys, it's Kelly from Locker Gnome, and I'm here at South by Southwest talking with Thomas from Opera. And uh, how has South by Southwest been for you so far? Oh, it's been great. Test, you know, we've had uh, test, test, easily test, the most test, visible, test, uh, you know, huge red opera logo that you'll ever see. So the biggest logo we've ever had anywhere. It's right here at South by, it's in all the pictures. So people use it as a meeting point. We've been able to talk to a lot of people who've never heard about opera before. It's been wonderful. That's awesome. And what are you guys up to these days? Well, you know, this past week we just released the first beta of Opera 11.10, and that's the next version of the browser coming out. It's, it's a minor in sort of update to it, but it's got some really cool things. So for the developers, it's got support for some CSS3 enhancements. Um, it's got support for uh, the web open font uh, base. So it, it's a very nice uh, thing for developers, and also one major feature for the end users, which is the new version of our speed dial, which is, you know, now there was an uh, i9 launch a couple days ago and there was a new development in Chrome. What releases do you guys apart from the browsers? Well, if you like the speed that's inside of Chrome and you like the full features that maybe you need to get extensions and things for, you can really find all of that in Opera. We have the speed and we have the feature set. I mean, we've been doing this for 15 years, so we've really, you know, we've always been trying to push the state of the art forward. And, and I think in Opera 11, it really that kind of meshes that design element, the nice, sleek design, with fantastic features that we're known for. That's great. And when do you expect to see um, the beta of 11.10 after the launch? Well, it's good timing because it actually launched today in beta, actually right today, and then, you know, it'll take a couple of weeks for us to fix bugs and, and get it real ready for prime time. Hard to say exactly when, but very soon. This year, it's a real big focus on desktop course. It's a real big focus to iterate and get new versions out uh, faster, so I think we'll be cranking out pretty soon. That's exciting. Well, thanks for talking with me. Thank you very much. Thanks, Locker Gnome. South by Southwest coverage brought to you by Weatherbug. Weatherbug is available at both the Apple App Store and the Android Market.